comes with COVID-19. And now my COVID-19 is taken the stage where it's moving into coronavirus new, induced pneumonia. My chest is tightening up and hurting. And because I had the coronavirus four times since 2019, I know the exact stages of what's happening in my body. My body now is at the stage of coronavirus induced pneumonia. I know exactly what to do. And so what I've done last time was contact the doctors and I got prescribed doxycycline antibiotic tablets and they then prescribing it. I took the tablets and it cured my pneumonia within seven days. But the coronavirus took a while to go, but the pneumonia was kept at bay and I recovered from the coronavirus. This time round, I've applied the doctors to get the tablets and Dr. Sarkama can have an appointment until 28th of December. By 20th of December, I'll be dead. So what I've done, I've dialed 111 NHS line. So they sent it out paramedics for me now. So we'll see where it goes. I've just done another test, COVID test, and it's come out positive. So here I am at the next, next stage. Um, after calling 111 NHS, they spoke to me and gave me a general assessment of my health, of what I'm going through. It's a natural procedure they go through each time someone calls them for help. Like I said, the doctor couldn't give me an appointment when I called him today or three days ago when I requested to have the antibiotics for my pneumonia. So they told me the 28th of December they could see me. I told them by then, I'll be dead by then, I won't be alive. So I decided to ring 111 NHS, which I rang today because my pneumonia got much worse, as you can my voice. Because I've had COVID for the fourth time now since 2019, in November, December the 7th. I know the procedure, I know when the pneumonia comes in. When you've had something so many times, you know the stages at which the pneumonia takes you. I do not want to wait until I did last time to the pneumonia gets to the fourth stage when it's going to take your life. And that's how I got last time. So they're going to call me and they're going to get an appointment from a doctor because doctors couldn't give me an appointment today. So they're going to call the doctors and get an emergency appointment for me to be seen today. And I get that doxycycline antibiotics delivered to me today so I can take it and it can suppress the pneumonia. And hopefully by then, the coronavirus will be gone by 28 days and the pneumonia will not have come back. The main thing to control is the bacteria caused by either flu or um, the coronavirus. You want to stay alive, believe me, do this. In addition to taking the gingers, the lemons, and, and staying off sugars, etc., you have got to put some antibiotics down you to fight the bacterial infection very fast. <laughs> spread fright your lungs, shut your lungs down and you'll be in big trouble. Because I've had a heart attack before, previous heart attacks, high blood pressure. For me this is very lethal. I cannot survive if this pneumonia gets taken in. It'll affect me and take my life. I'll definitely die. I can't even wait till the 28th. I can feel I'll die before then. I'll be never statistic of a dead person uh, beaten by coronavirus induced pneumonia. So I'm just taking another test today again. No coronavirus test and it shows up as positive. That's the, yeah, I'll show you, I'll give you a close up in a minute, but that's the test. It's the test is showing positive. So, whichever alien has launched this virus on the earth or which evil human, thank you, you've given it to me, I've taken your dose for the fourth time. The mutation they call Omicron or it can be Delta. I've also got influenza as well. I've got influenza because Laura has influenza. She's tested and she's tested negative for COVID. So the influenza in the house. So my Christmas is ruined. I can't go near my children at all. They're upstairs, I'm downstairs. And that's the way it has to be until this virus is out of my system. And I can tell you one thing, when this virus goes, I'm gonna get my vaccine instantly. I'm not gonna suffer like this again. I'm not gonna suffer, I'm gonna get my injection. I don't care what the risks are. I'm going to take the injection because I think that this is going for experience. I'm speaking from actual experience. 
when you get the COVID, you will know what suffering is. So I think the risks are worth it for me. That's what I'm not speaking for no one else, I'm speaking just for myself. So remember that for myself, from my experience. You get the vaccine, man, or you're dead. So um, they've just called me back, um, an NHS 111, with good news replied to me, and they have got through to my doctors, and they've got me appointment for today at 12:30 p.m. Now me myself ring my doctors, they will not give me the appointment at all. So I found a way to do it. If you can't get your doctor's appointment when you've got an emergency appointment, where it's life threatening for your life, it's one or two things you can do. You call 999. Get an ambulance and here to take it to hospital. But hospital, I do not want to go at all, where it's loaded with more COVID. So, um, the other thing you can do is call 111 MHS Help. And what they'll do, they'll diagnose you, they'll ask you, give you a self assessment question, where they ask, they fire a variety of questions at you, and you just answer it. They have to go for procedure and they get to assess how bad you are. From there, they will get you your doctor's appointment. As soon as, as soon as possible, they get you the appointment in the same day. Now, um, my, if my pneumonia gets it worse probably before 12, 30, I'm going to go straight to hospital because it's, it's emergency now, it's closing on my chest, it's closing on me. I feel the coronavirus pneumonia. I just coughed a huge piece of phlegm up. I've never seen phlegm like that one. I had blood in my phlegm, it was thick like a sponge. It felt like an alien in the body, it coughed out an alien, not phlegm. You can put that in the sink, the flame had trouble getting down the sink. So I know my body is invaded by an alien, it can be from outer space. This is not normal. I'm on heavy tramadol painkillers right now. Because the stabbing pains in my body all over the place have been going down for five days. Stabbing, stabbing pains in so my part of the Laura is very, very ill upstairs, but she's tested negative, which is very good. And me, I'm strongly positive. And in fact so positive when I'm tested this time the positive results showed within five minutes. I, do, I never even had to wait for half an hour. Five minutes, it showed up as positive. So, at 12.30, I hope to get my doxycycline antibiotics tablets, of which I can start taking straight away, and att attacking this pneumonia, so the pneumonia does not shut my lungs down. Because this is what the coronavirus does, and flus. They induce pneumonias in the body, through bacterial infections and that's what it is. I don't touch my face or my mouth because that can also increase the chances of getting pneumonia. Pneumonia is deadly. It shuts down the oxygen supply to your body and if you've got heart problems or high blood pressure it's the end game. So um, I'm still alive but I'm suffering. I'm suffering really bad. Painkillers are so strong, back and forth the pain, but before when I was yelling and yelling, the painkillers taking that down where I could manage it. So what painkillers do, they manage it. So what I did this morning, I stayed eight hours yesterday, I stayed eight hours off the painkillers, and my goodness, was it painful. So I took some in the evening. So you don't take painkillers all the time, try and stay off the painkillers, and take them only when you need them. But I needed the painkillers, but I tried not to intoxicate the body with so much painkillers because it's not good for the liver. So anyhow, um, I'll let you know what happens when I get the call for doctors and whether I get my doctor's cycling. So you, you can use this as an experience yourself. So if you can't get an appointment for your doctors, you go through the NHS helpline and they'll get your appointment. Only if your, yours is as urgent as mine. So I'm coughing blood now up in the phlegm. I'm really scared, man. Coronavirus, man. This this stuff really scares me. Never experienced anything like this. Wow. Wow. Sometimes you get the pains. I go for the painkiller, and it 
even the pain killer can't stop it, it gets pain. Or my kidney down my back through my stomach. And not and I've got a feeling of sickness as well, and I just, just come through. That not even the painkiller can stop. And that's what I mean, the, the coronavirus is really, I mean, it's eating my body out. I'm suffering with it. So. Now tell me how more positive than that can you get of a COVID test? Coronavirus, Omicron, and Delta in my body. As far as I'm concerned, I've been invaded by aliens. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. And this is just a continuation of today's vlog, of my day I had with um, COVID. Um, what I've been trying to do today is to get myself hold of some antibiotics so I can treat any pre-occurring pneumonia. The thing with this coronavirus, what you have to watch out for with coronavirus is the pneumonia. The coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, whatever they call, whatever they call it, develops coronavirus-induced um, pneumonia, which closes the lung down, produces mucus, which then closes your oxygen paths to the rest of your body and shuts down your organs, which is what kills you. done been trying to get hold of a doctor's uh, appointment I couldn't get one till the 20th of December by then I really thought I'd be dead so I um, called the 911 and they visit me with the paramedics um, and the paramedics um, took me to the hospital where I was treated very well I'm very impressed with the NHS now compared to the last time I had um, COVID-19 they were far quicker far more efficient had better medication and the tension was a lot better so I've had COVID for the fourth time, so I know very much a lot about COVID right now. So I got to the hospital, although I tested um, positive twice on the lateral flow test, I tested twice also on the PCR test. The PCR test is more accurate, but it showed it was positive straight away. Um, so the, I got, in the end I got my um, antibiotics for the doctor, which a friend, my friend went to pick up for me, we called him the dresser. Nick, very thank you Nick for delivering it to me because I was taken to hospital at the time and my next door neighbours, Leila, for um, offering to deliver my medication for me so I wasn't able to get it. And, um, at the hospital I was given these more advanced um, medication for the antibiotics um, for the sore throat and um, pneumonia. These um, antibiotics are called Co-Amoxlav 625 milligram tablets. So coal or moxilav, these are apparently very good. Three of these, um, three times a day, um, for five days, the course. So, while I'm suffering with the COVID-19, and it's trying to trigger off pneumonia, that'll get him. And if it's a bacterial infection caused by the pneumonia, the coronavirus pneumonia, then I'm okay. But if it's a viral, a viral pneumonia, then I'm in trouble. And I have to go back to hospital and get viral treatments before the pneumonia spreads all over me because there are two kind of um, coronavirus um, viruses uh, that can cause pneumonia. The viral pneumonia and bacterial pneumonia. The things I'm doing to help myself with pneumonia, eating green veggies, lots of that, um, no sugar, no salt, no milk, um, no biscuits, nothing like that, as I'm doing already with my diet. So the things I've done in my diet and using a treadmill has kept me alive even today. So. Um, the worst trend, the worst um, coronavirus I had was the first one. You know what I want to film because when you got coronavirus that bad, you can't film it. But this one I was able to film, 
but this one was very bad in terms of the stabbing pain, stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. But the first one I had was just no chance, just dead, on the way to dying. There's no, couldn't film anything. So the ones you know you can film something, you know it's not as bad as the ones you had that's really bad. So um, hopefully with this medication, I should recover and be okay. I'm not a fan in the, in the NHS. I've got praise to them for the job. I must say, it really touched my heart in there, being looked after by the nurses and the doctors and the kind of job they do, I really respect them. And I'm gonna clap for them. I'm so impressed with the NHS that I have to clap for them. And people don't realize how important these jobs are. The NHS doctors and these nurses, the jobs they do, the risk they take. I've got COVID and they take the risk looking after me. And to me, that's a very special job. And those people should be looked, should be looked after properly and paid well. They don't want to really look after the people we have because they're special people. So anyhow, um, I'm going to rest myself, carry eating well, and hope I'll get rid of this, this, this um, virus quickly. What I found with the virus, on the 10th day, the virus normally gets worse in terms of the pneumonia side of it. But the first part of the virus, you get all these stabbing pains and the fever, then it goes into the next stage, the complications of pneumonia. And this is the part I'm very scared of. So um, our whole family's ill. I'm, I won't be seeing the children for Christmas. I'll be separated and we can't see each other for Christmas because I've got the COVID-19. What a crappy year. And what a shitty year this virus has caused. Excuse my language. Hope you all have a nice Christmas. And thanks for watching. I've caught coronavirus for the fourth time. And people say this virus is, is a mild version. Better think again. This um, virgin had me hospitalised where I received treatments for the prevention and progress of pneumonia. Now if you take a look at this phlegm I'm coughing up. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, um, it's thick. And this is like the third thickest one I've had. I've had it three, four times thicker than what it is there. Now this phlegm is what gets to the bottom of your lungs and clogs the lungs and you cause pus to burst in the lungs and block all the oxygen paths, the airways to your body which transfer the oxygen around you. This is what a respiratory disease, disease do. says do not isolate you don't need lockdowns it's a lot of nonsense this is no ordinary cold like people say it, say it is it's a lot worse it's the most painful stabbing virus I've ever had in my lifetime the breathing viruses with regards to pneumonia the first time I caught coronavirus was the worst one this is my fourth time catching coronavirus and I really don't know what I'm doing in life it really incredible miracle I'm still living with all the other health problems I have, like my heart attack and the high blood pressure, etc. The very good news for me, because of my diet change and the weight loss, I've got rid of type 2 diabetes. So this must be a, a, a savior for me, having rid myself of diabetes. I've cut out sugar from my diet. I've I bought a treadmill at home where I've been walking on it gently, taking the weight down, increasing body circulation, etc. This is an absolutely disgusting sight, but it has been shown what, it, what there is in that thing. It's got millions, billions of Omicron coronavirus in it. So right now, I'm going to destroy this thing. <laughs> if you spit a sink or anything, I use this um, Dettol, which, is, which kills bacteria. It also kills flu virus and it kills, kills coronavirus. I use this as a spray. So you get on here and I spray it. Spray it before I flush. And don't forget once you sneeze it's in the whole thing. I see it in my hand, it's all over here. And don't forget to do your to do your hands as well.